Hello dear viewers, I am glad to welcome you on our channel. As always, I am Alexander Sudriv and today we have prepared you a special report from the territory, now we can safely say, the territory of Savalmash. Now we are on the construction site and the purpose of this video is to provide a report, if I may say so, on the work done that has been implemented since the beginning of 2021. Let's go into more detail. So, especially for those viewers who are watching us for the first time or are not so much interested in the project, let's remember what has been done in general on the Sovelmash construction site and where it is located. The construction site is located on the territory of the Special Economic Zone, Technopolis, Moscow. The site is located in Alabusheva and it provides you with a number of advantages over the other possible places for the construction of our future DNE. These are such advantages as tax benefits, transport interchange, a free customs zone and much more. You can learn more about this in more detail from our previous videos. What has been done? The fencing has been erected around the site, which meets all the standards and requirements imposed by the law. To date, the construction camp consisting of temporary structures that include food stations, the administrative building, washing stations for large construction equipment and so on has been fully implemented. The connection of all the necessary engineering utilities, including the temporary ones, has been prepared, both water and electricity supply. What is particularly noteworthy, until recently we could only use the power supply by connecting a power generator. To date, the necessary work is underway and the foundation for the complete transformer substation has already been made. Technically, this is a transformer unit to which electricity will be supplied from Technopolis, Moscow. This will enable us to get an uninterrupted supply of electricity until the end of the construction activities. Further, the drainage system has been implemented. Now, among other things, the work is underway aimed at creating a project well for connecting to the central sewerage system and so on. Outdoor lighting has been installed, which will enable working at any time of the day in an effective and necessary format. And of course, the pit was dug. The pit was backfilled. To date, concrete works have already taken place. The necessary concrete preparatory work has been carried out. Now you can see how the pre-prepared form works are being installed. The concrete works on pouring the main part of the concrete foundation are to start for further installation of the supporting structures for the building. A lot of work has really been done. I think it's easy to guess that currently at the site and in general in Zelenograd it's quite cold. You can clearly observe it from my speech. And despite this, the work does not stand still, it continues. A lot has been done and even more work needs to be done. Also note that part of the metal structures, a rather large part, has already been delivered to the construction site. These are the metal structures manufactured by our subcontractor Astron. Actually, the future DNA building will be constructed using these metal structures. And now let's talk about the news that does not directly relate to the construction site, but has happened in the project in general. The work that has been done on the temporary leased premises will also not go unnoticed in our coverage today. It should be noted that there was really a lot of work. It has been carried out in absolutely different lines and at the same time, even without being at the Sovelmash construction site, the work related to the construction project is also carried out on the temporary leased premises. In particular, there is an ongoing check of the cost estimates. The Department of Capital Construction and the Planning and Finance Department are working on that. This work is very large-scale and extensive, and it is very important. I think that many of you remember us telling about the concept of how this works before. There is a company named Savalmas. It has a general contractor entered into a contractual relationship with. This is Hacker Moscow that is responsible for the construction work carried out on the site. And there is also a subcontractor company Astron that produces metal structures. In fact, the entire turnover of funds, plans and all the events that occur must be controlled. This is what the Capital Construction Department and the Planning and Finance Department of Savalmash do. It should be taken into consideration that Hacker Moscow also employs contractors to perform certain works. 
and the process of improving the cost of services rendered requires close attention from all the responsible persons involved. So, this is a very large scope of work. The testing laboratory has undergone a very serious upgrade. Even though it met all the necessary standards, rules and requirements before and was already certified, this is a truly great accomplishment. But now it has become even more efficient, there are additional benches, in particular a large load bench, that enables testing larger monitors. The footage you can see on your screens shows what it looks like now. Follow the news, because in the near future we will prepare a separate episode for you, in which we will tell you more about how the laboratory has been transformed and perhaps open the veil of mystery concerning what it can do. I think it will be very interesting. But this is not all the work being done. One of the most important pieces of news is the new additional leased premises that will house an automated production line, the purpose of which is producing small-scale pilot batches of induction electric motors. This is necessary for training personnel, for working with research and development projects, R&D, 46 of which are in progress at the moment. This is really a lot. In the future, this production line will be moved to the area of the Future Design and Engineering Technology Department of Sobelmash. The line itself has already been paid for. In April we are waiting for it to arrive on our premises and by May we hope to fully put it into operation and use it. But it would be more correct to say of course that it is not a production line that has been purchased, but the necessary equipment, which the production line will then be assembled from. Also, do not forget about an equally important event in the project line, namely the development of our own original incremental encoder. This development enables us to significantly reduce the cost of creating motors, because today you can buy the analogs only in China, and they are quite expensive. As a rule, the cost of a motor can be comparable to the cost of the sensor itself. But our specialists have made our own high-quality sensor that meets all the standards and requirements applicable to it. But there is more. Apart from the sensor itself, a plant has been developed that will enable starting the production of these sensors. And its capacity ensures doing this not only for our own needs, but also for third-party customers. And this is really a very important event. And in fact, this line requires close attention. But I think you will learn more about this in our future releases. We definitely won't skip this issue. Actually, this is the main part of the news that we wanted to share with you from the territory of Sovelmash today. There is a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of accomplishments, a lot of tasks. However, no matter what the weather is, the specialists of Sovelmash work overcoming all odds. And even in the light of the restrictions imposed on us by coronavirus, the COVID-19 pandemic, the whole team is working rigorously to achieve results. Therefore, dear viewers, follow us, subscribe to our social media, leave your comments. There are a lot of important accomplishments ahead of us. See you again!